Hi, this is Freeman Michaels for FaveDiets.com. I want to talk a little bit today about how we can train our brain by ritualizing what we call practices. Basically, uh, unhealthy eating habits for those of us who uh, eat emotionally. In other words, stress, anxiety, fear, loneliness, whatever's going on. We've learned to use food to cope with those kinds of emotions. And over time, these patterns of behavior right, become habitual. We call them eating habits. Anyhow, with regards to shifting those habits, there's a couple pieces. The first is we have to recognize what the underlying need is that we've been using food to try to meet. Then we need to find what we call a self-honoring way to meet that need that doesn't involve food then we need to practice, practice that new behavior, practice it in a way that we do it consistently over a period of 21 to 30 days. Now the 21 to 30 days is what behavioral psychologists recognize is the time it takes for the neuropathways in our brains to organize. The example I give is if we just set an alarm clock, let's say for 6 a.m., when normally we wake up at 7, after two or three weeks, we don't need the alarm clock anymore. Our brains automatically wake us up, as it were, right? With the, the, sort of an, an internal alarm sounds. It's a new habit. And what we've done is we've basically uh, trained our brain. That's what we do in the weight release program. We practice these new habits as self-honoring ways to meet our needs. Over time, they replace the old pattern. But here's a little bit that's tricky about this. I, I describe it as being like a new road, right? And it's, it's a new road that we built almost parallel to the old road. And it's very easy to default to the old habit. I give the example of, of walking every morning. I walk every morning. But if I get sick for three or four days, I find often it's challenging to sort of get back on track, get back on that, on that, uh, on that, on that practice, that self-honoring practice. So what I offer is that we ritualize the practice. And by this I mean we create a kind of meaning in the choices that we're making. We infuse our choices with, with, with meaning, with purpose, and, and then we ritualize it, where it's almost like it's a sacred act. I think of this in terms of what we put in our bodies, that we relate to food in a different way. So we're honoring our bodies by what we take in, and that we actually track it, and we give it a kind of meaning, an overarching meaning, meaning for our lives, so then ultimately that helps to keep us back on track. We recognize when we're off track, and we can adjust based on this sort of principle, right? It's a principle, and it's a ritual. So those are the two pieces I want to share with you today uh, on this favediets.com video blog.